know what I'm saying? You so beautiful, but you know you look better with me. I can open up your eyes, show you some better to see. I can't get you out my head when I watch and repeat. I'm so far gone. I be thinking about the future, I can't stop seeing you. Why you bless me with this feeling that I don't want to lose? So many women, baby. All right. Freaking go through all that dang on work. I'm so mad. Anyway, um, Megan the Stallion, man. Megan the Stallion. Um <laughs> Tori ain't shooter. <laughs> I say it. I don't, you know, I say it. Tori ain't shooter. Tori's a good, sweet Amish boy. Like he, he, he ain't been on that girl. Yes, that man. He was trying to counsel her on how to do better. That's what happened. Okay, he ain't shoot that girl, man. Now, do I think that he he gave her the truffle butter? Probably. That that's a that's a uh, you know a, a good chance that he you know he gave her that chunky butter. But other than that, that's that's can you know that's can they like oh I, I like your accent. Oops. Oh no, they about to tear off a new. <laughs> Um, because you keep messing with because I like someone's own way. <laughs> you just OCD'd about the whole house just now, and you weren't about my little situation right here. You kind of acting like Megan right now. I'm be real, <laughs> like nah. Oh, God. God. That dude tore this. 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 What I think happened, right? He gave. He gave her that salami. You know what I mean? And, and, and she just couldn't get enough of it. He was already hitting a girlfriend. You hear me? What are you gonna do? She get mad. Wop, wop. Someone shoots and she just says Tori did it. But if 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 it's no GSR on Tori, he didn't do it. The question is, what do we do now after Tori lost all that money for two years? That's the question. That's how I feel. That's that's how I feel. What do you think? <laughs> that's a lot of me though. Did you for me to say like pepper jack stick roll or what do you say? <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. She he he hit, she went crazy, and now the question is, if he is, you know, um, if he is innocent, which is starting to look like he is, what do we do with her that just basically tried to ruin this dude's career? And is Megan generally just a terrible person? She is from Houston. A lot of raggedy heifers come out of Houston. I'm sorry. A lot Slaughter, of them. scammers. If you go on to Texas, talk to somebody from Dallas, please. <laughs> <laughs> just make a U-turn. Right. Don't go down there. It'll cost you $12,000. Just keep going to Louisiana. They're squatting you freaking an apartment. You mess around. <laughs> <laughs> That's down the guy. I'm telling you some real stuff I know now. But, you know... Okay. What do you think? Because she a victim and y'all ain't trying to help her out. So go ahead. I've been following it and I've been following the updates. And uh, the last person that I seen that did a awesome rendition of what's happening was Joe Budden. Shout out to Joe Budden podcast. And he said, listen, as we put everything together, you know, because we know that Tory Lanez was not able to speak on the case at the gag order. So for two years, we only heard Megan's side. As things have developed and the investigations have came to be and we're going through court and evidence is being um, evaluated or having a public opinion on it, you know, it's looking like, again, Tory's going to win the case. Now, here's the thing. I agree. What happens why, uh, what's the punishment or the consequence that should happen when two high profile people who both have equally amount of things to risk, what happens on a human level? But let's take she need to woman be banned from every single outlet and festival that he was banned for, for the equal amount of freaking time. Yeah. And I, um, I'm not even going to say, unfortunately, I'm going to say, Logically, yes, that's exactly what should happen. I, as a woman myself, I despise any woman that utilizes their femininity in a way where it blows back on the feminine womanhood. Because, see, I don't 
believe that's girl code at all. When you do something and it affects us all because you represent us all because that's how y'all move. Um, and the people like myself who doesn't really identify with your ideology, like it's nothing to do with your creativity in your songs. This is who you move as a person. I don't agree with. It gives us all a bad name. So yes, on a human level, like take man, woman out of it. Exactly what he went through, you should go through. Right. Exactly what he went through, you should you should go through the uh, humiliation of it. The black ball. The black ball. Money should be um, um, affected. Ties should be severed. Um, he should be able to talk about it for two years. Right. Gag order should be on you. Right. <laughs> like, it's only fair. Because here's the thing. Personal stuff aside, let's take all the personal stuff out. What you guys do amongst yourself? You guys are two consenting adults or three consenting adults. Uh, I you know, wanted I, the truffle yeah, butter. We don't know how many people's in the room, but we'll, here's what, here's what we do know. They said it was two. Taking responsibility and taking accountability are two different things, and that's something where most women always drop the ball. Taking responsibility. And taking accountability. Women need to take accountability. Men take responsibility. And your accountability level has been... Zero. It's just been zero. I mean, your involvement was the classic victimized womanhood. And in 2022, us women now, we want some... Listen, we're going to struggle off our shoulders and keep going and do the right thing spiritually. Do the right thing overall. You had an opportunity, I believe, many a day. To be like, okay, maybe I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I was a little too inebriated. I was too drunk. Maybe I can't recall the actual facts of what happened. You just literally decided. Yeah. I'm just going to like mess this guy up because I feel like it. See, that messes up the womanhood. Like I said, when I say the womanhood, let me break this down to you. Because most men think they know women. And the reason why women don't say nothing is because men believe it's like vaginas unite. But let me break this down to you. Women have women don't govern themselves because if a woman steps out of the code, she doesn't want it coming back to her. So we all have to think alike. We all have to agree with each other because if one sheep leaves the flock, that's a problem because we don't know what you plan on doing. We don't know if you're going to change the scope of everything. And we can't have it. Take Queen Mother Shabazz. This These is a people, person. I have no idea who Queen Mother Shabazz is. Oh, uh, well, look her up. She's a person that stepped outside of the flock and started to educate, start to give a different perspective, an insight to what the black woman should do or what a woman could be in the nuclear family dynamic. Uh, she was vilified, demon. I mean, they tried to crucify this woman. And what's funny is 25, 30 years later, you guys are preaching and saying, exactly her rhetoric back then i say all that to say this megan baby um no <laughs> you i i can't support something where at the end of the day you know as a woman you had so many opportunities to get out of it swiftly that's how quietly. bad you wanted to destroy that dude and if that's the type of person that you are we don't need that as a uh, representat uh, representation of the black woman as far as the imagery across the globe. So she got, you yeah. know, it's one of those situations she got sprung out on that jumping Jehoshaphat. Yeah. And, and, and she acted, which is what she is at heart, which is a basic chick. Yeah. She's a basic chick that has some genetic gifts that, that fall within what is trendy on what people like. She sprung that into a career. She's done a thing. And it's like, she's like uh, a spoiled kid. Yeah. A spoiled kid that won't take accountability for nothing. It's everybody else's fault. Woo -woo -woo -woo. And you mess this dude's money up for a cat that never claimed you. He never married you. never had a kid by you. And you still somehow, uh, something about them Houston chicks, man. They still somehow figure out a way to hit your pocket when you're not even responsible for them. What you do is disgusting, dog. I always thought you was whack from jump. Yeah, I mean, you can't put out too many more booty shaking 
songs for me to keep thinking you're dope. Asian doll should have went way further than you, but this world is not right. You got a fat butt and 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 now you're the you're supposedly the top rapper. I just don't freaking see it. And then you turn around and do something like this, which means you're a coon. Not only are you a coon, you're 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 the classic basic chick that hurts men. Yeah. And you turn around and somehow after you're doing all this damage to all the men you do damage to, you're the victim. You disgust me.